2017 Ford Raptor, which is also a cover car. We've concentrated on the Lamborghini Centenario because it's awesome yeah, yeah. so far. But on the front cover of Horizon 3, uh, which is just oh, up, up you, there, yeah. we have a 2017 Ford Raptor jumping over the, the Centenario because uh, because cars. Just because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we are in the outback. And so for me, this is like the most Australian bit of Australia, right? This is like quintessential Australia, the red earth and the big skies and this really sort of rugged um, and the terrain. Algae. And the, obviously the algae in the lakes, <laughs> uh, as you say. It looks amazing, um, absolutely incredible. It's not, it's not ugly, is it? No, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I, I think of all the areas that we were starting to research, I was kind of worried about the outback because I thought, is it a bit like a desert? You know, is it going to be fun? It's crazy fun, and it's also got this really stark beauty to it as well, yeah, which is a, a really real unique sort of biome and terrain, isn't it? So yeah. Must, in a way, that's kind of that must have been going back to the drawing board for you, because you can't reuse assets from previous games for this. Oh no! Not so that I'm saying you would do that, but this is like outside of your comfort zone in terms of landscaping. Right? It kind of is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, we never reuse anything. Uh, you know, we always build everything from scratch in each New Horizon game, um, and. So this is a gold mine, this is oh, an cool. actual gold mine um, that's in the outback. Um, but yeah, you're right, I mean... Oh, look at these. How many people have asked if you can drive one of them? Just you. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I want to roll. Can you drive one of them? Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> can you jump one of them? I'm sure. Sure, why not? That'd be wicked. Yeah, absolutely. Light them up. Oh, look so, at that one there as well. So this is one of... So we always build these... What, I mean, we call them like playground areas, right? Because yeah. they're built specifically so you can just go and have fun in cars in them and we play our, uh, our online playground games in them so you know like King and Infected and actually we've got a new one this time called Flag Rush um, so you'll be able to play all of those in arenas just like that one and of course you can explore it in, uh, in free roam and there's races set there as well so it's all pretty cool. Can I just say that if I, you know how like IGN and all the other magazines and websites give out awards? It shows like they this. do, yes. Uh, every year I would give you best hot air balloons in a video game. <laughs> or every two well, years, know, it's, whatever. A, it's a closely contested uh, category. Well, all these the are the you know, preeminent developers for hot air balloons. Thanks. So our, our hot air balloon team will be really uh, gratified <laughs> to hear that um, yeah. back at Playgrounds. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, I should mention the skies, right? Because a lot of. Uh, a lot of incredible work went into that, also a lot of mortal danger as well. Um, these skies that um, you're seeing in the game here, they, that is an Australian sky, right? So we um, we built this uh, custom camera rig, right? 12K HDR rig, shipped it out to Australia, and some of our guys like camped in the outback recording what the skies did, and then incredible engineers back at Playground have created this revolutionary system that allows us to stream it in and you know, put it in the sky, so that's, and a real Australian sky dynamically unfolds. It looks incredibly brilliant. And you know, it lights the whole of the world.